<laughs> Hi, good morning. Today is the 2nd of January, so that puts it at Tuesday, I think. Um, teachers have a hard time knowing what day it is um, when we're on break, but tomorrow we go back to see the children. We get stuff done. End of the semester is almost upon us. So lots to do, as always. I feel like I always say that. Lame. Um, okay, so getting the music ready. Here we go. Um, this day in history, 1839, uh, French photographer Louis Daguerre is the first person to photograph the moon. And how many of you have a picture of the moon somewhere on your camera rolls? Okay. Um, 1879, Fred Spofforth, a test cricket player. So cricket, um, if you're not familiar with the game, I don't know all the rules. It's very fun to watch. Um, those who like baseball, I would recommend looking into cricket. Test cricket is elite level cricket. Is the first to get a hat trick, um, meaning three outs in, in a row. So group of three, um, hat trick, one of the many things that people um, call me when they don't quite understand how to pronounce my name. Um, 1893, a local connection. Milton Snavely Hershey visits the Columbian Exposition in Chicago, Illinois. Chicago is not the local part to, to, to me. However, there he is exposed to a lot of German making or German made chocolate making machinery. He had already done pretty well with a caramel company, the Lancaster Caramel Company, buys this equipment, brings it back to Hershey. 1894, he founds the Hershey Chocolate Company. So he was inspired and he was motivated by what he saw. More on those two words shortly. 1906, Willis Carrier, um, the patent for the air conditioner, the concept of air conditioning. We don't need it right now here in Pennsylvania, but in uh, six months or so, you'll be thanking Willis Carrier. Born this day, 1968, Cuba Gooding Jr., actor, 56 years old today, Oscar for his role in Jerry Maguire. He was in Selma, A Few Good Men. He was in a, As Good As It Gets um, as well. Here is your first, my friends. Oh, I closed my window. Remember, I do this in one shot, there's no editing, so this is your chance to refill that cup of coffee. This is your first. Daily Dose of Hank. Cuba Gooding Jr., a very incredible actor, a lot of dramatic pieces, a number of World War II related uh, works as well. In 2013, he and Tom Hanks were both nominated for Tony Awards and were presenters at the awards ceremony. Simple, simple. Um, happy birthday today, 1971. He was born Tay Diggs from Chicago Rent. Um, he was in um, as a guest star on West Wing and Grey's Anatomy and also Law and Order. Haven't talked about Law and Order yet. It's about time. 1974, President Richard Nixon signs into law a national speed limit, 55 miles per hour. This was in response to um, surging prices and cost of oil in 1973, thinking it would be a way to be more economical. A lot of motorists didn't follow it. Some states didn't want to follow it, but some states also saw it as, quote, a source of revenue. I'm assuming they're meeting speeding tickets. Um, today is National Buffet Day. Okay, we're talking buffet where all the food's laid out and you do your thing. Not Jimmy Buffett Day. That's actually the Friday before Labor Day. Not that I actually knew that. Fins to the left. Um, oh, talking about buffets. Okay, way too much food, right? Lots of picking. Here is a second daily dose of Hanks. I was reminded... Um, about the buffet scene in the movie Big. I'll post a link to that in the description for this video. Um, he's eating the baby corn. You know, he's eating the baby corn. Um, they're actually called cornlets 
or baby corn. And according to tastecooking.com, <laughs> this made me chuckle. Um, they said, although the cornlet might sound like an 18th century French skin condition, it is the veal of the corn world. So when the maize plant produces, um, it starts producing silk, this is gonna be the very first part of the cob. It is completely ingestible by humans at this point. So maybe you've had um, stir fry of some kind and they're those little baby corn cobs. Yes, you can eat those. Those are your corn lets because there's no starch or sugar reserves um, that are in mature corn. Largest supply, Thailand, and it is harvested by hand. Tom Hanks connected to National Buffet Day. Who would have, who would have thought it? Uh, today is also National Science Fiction Day. And yesterday we had a science fiction connection with Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And also here's one, I'm gonna get a lot of eye rolling on this one, Motivation and Inspiration Day. Not just because of New Year's resolutions, but this was um, a project post 9-11. So the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, um, in an attempt to increase morale. When you are inspired by others, you do great things yourself. When you're motivated to do things and help and support others, there's you know this, this ripple effect, this butterfly effect. So think about what motivates you? What small things get you going? I find myself watching a ridiculous number of cleaning videos. I don't necessarily use that to inspire me to actually do it. Um, so here's your third daily dose of Hanks. Because we can. Because we can. So cleaning. I took this off of my fridge. I had a Tom Hanks calendar for 2023. I also had a copy that I had at school. But just for fun, I went and looked back at what January's message was. Everyone wonders what the future holds. Small acts have large impact. Beauty and wonder are forever. Oh, Tom. Oh, and a match. Yeah. So I was thinking a little bit about, okay, motivational calendar. What, is, what does this mean? Um, and also the mug that I randomly grabbed. And remember, I grabbed the mug before I decide what I'm going to talk about on my mug while you're looking at my mug. Sorry. Switching. Um, so this was actually from Heather, my secret Santa at school, lemon. I do have tea in it, but lemon, I'm thinking about lemon is a very refreshing smell. It's good for cleaning. I use lemon oil, like in place of like Goo Gone or something like that. There's little like residue that I need to clean. Um, and the song that you heard at the very beginning, I added it to Hetrick 's Morning Mug playlist. There's a playlist on Spotify. Um, it's called Lemon Tree by Fool's Garden. I just Googled lemon to see if there was a song about it. It was pretty catchy there for my intro music. Um, I went down the research rabbit hole. I started writing it on my whiteboard. I'm like, yeah, not doing that to all y'all. Not doing it. Talking about different types, types of motivation. Um, and I am putting it in a small little box for you. Think about what motivates you that are external factors versus internal. So external, um, there's a, a deadline at work. Your boss says, you must do this. Or your teacher says, you have to complete this handout. Um, or um, you don't want to be evicted from your apartment so you pay your bills, like those types of things. So those external motivators, because I don't wanna be evicted, I'm going to work hard, get my paycheck and pay my bills. But there's also internal motivators. Um, I was talking with a faithful mugger yesterday, Mike, and he was talking about it. He just made a vision board for the new year. And I'm like, that is, that's exactly it. That's the internal motivation that you need. Keeping those goals realistic, keeping those goals present in your mind. Um, in, in college, we had, thank you, Dean O'Neill. In college, we had to write down like some specific goals for ourselves, put it in our, our wallet or something that we were carrying it around with us as some reminders. It is easier said than done. I am the to-do list queen and I love rewriting my to-do lists. Yeah, yep. Um, but I'm thinking, okay, don't just make the to-do list, but can you check like two or three things off of it? That would be great. So inspiration and motivation day, small acts of kindness. You know, those little things do add up over time. 
So this is the latest that I'll be able to do one of these for it to actually be the morning because we're back to work tomorrow. So we'll see where the mug takes us then. So until tomorrow, everybody behave, be good, be kind, continue to wash your hands, recycle when and where appropriate. We've got this. All right. See you later.